Hello ka math learners! Welcome sa ating YouTube channel, Learn Math Beach. Our topic for today is all about divisibility rules of 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So without further ado, let's get started. So what does divisible mean? A number is divisible by another number if you divide them and the answer is whole number and no remainder. Example for this is 9 is divisible by 3. Bakit? Kasi when you divide 9 divided by 3, the answer is 3 and the remainder is 0. So wala siyang remainder. Yun yung ibig sabihin ng divisible. So what is divisibility rule naman? A divisibility test is an easy way to identify whether the given number is divided by a fixed divisor without actually performing the division process. So ibig sabihin, kahit hindi mo siya actual na i-divide, alam mo na ang number na yun ay divisible si isa pang number kasi alam mo yung divisibility rule. Halimbawa, 345 is divisible by 3. Bakit natin nasabi? Kasi alam natin ang divisibility rules ng 3. Kaya kahit hindi natin actually divide, dahil alam natin rules ng divisibility, madalis para sa atin na makonclude na ito ay divisible by 3. So in just a few moments, we will learn these rules. Okay? Okay. Bakit mahalaga yung divisibility rule? Number 1, Ginagamit siya sa prime factorization. So, meron tayong video tungkol dyan, LCM, LCD, and GCF. At nandun yung mga prime factorization. I will give the link on the description box below. Or pakicheck yung video na to. Mamaya, pero patapusin mo muna tong video na to. Okay, continue. Ang divisibility rule ay napaka-useful sa prime factorization. Madali mo mapaprime factorization. Madali kang mag-continuous division method kung alam mo ang divisibility rules. Number two, mas mapapadali ang division. Or yung pag-divide mo ng mga larger number. That is, it will reduce the time taken to solve problems and it will simplify calculations. So, madali. Mas matipid sa oras o alam mo yung divisibility rules. Okay, so dito na tayo sa ating mga rules mismo. So, divisibility rules. A number is divisible by 2 if the last digit ends with even numbers such as 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. So guys, kapag nagtatapos sa 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, ang number na yun ay divisible by 2. Halimbawa ah, dito guys, ng divisible by 2, about 24 ends in 4, 60 ends in 0, 32 ends in 2, 88 ends in 8, and 76 are all divisible by 2. Pero yung nasa kanan, yung isa, 33, 61, 55, 87, 99, hindi sila divisible by 2 kasi add numbers sila. So lahat ng even numbers, divisible by 2. Okay? Dito tayo sa susunod. A number is divisible by 3 if the sum of all its digits is divisible by 3. Ibig sabihin guys, sa isang number, malalaman mo kung divisible siya by 3. Kung i-add mo ang digits, at divisible by 3, ibig sabihin, ang original number ay divisible by 3 din. Halimbawa, the number 369, kung i-add mo siya, yung digits niya, 3 plus 6 plus 9 is equivalent to 18. And alam natin na 18 is divisible by 3. Therefore, 369 is divisible by 3. Okay? I-add mo lang yung digits. At kung yung sum nila ay divisible by 3, the original number is divisible by 3 then. Pero yung sa kanan, 413 is not divisible by 3 kasi kapag i-add natin, 8 ang sum ng digits. Alam natin, ang 8 is not divisible by 3. Therefore, 413 is not also divisible by 3. Okay, dito tayo sa number 4. A number is divisible by 4 if and only if the last two digits are divisible by 4. So, kukunin natin yung last two digits. For example, the number 2064. Ang kukunin natin doon is yung 64. Okay? Yung nakabox. Yung 64, is it divisible by 4? Yes. Therefore, 2064 is divisible by 4. So, ang kukunin mo lang doon is yung huling two digits. Okay? Next example, 4026. Is it divisible by 4? So, kukunin muna natin yung 2 digits. Ano yung 2 digits niya? 26. Is 26 divisible by 4? No. Therefore, 4026 is not 
divisible by 4. So, kukunin mo lang yung dalawang digits. Kung hindi divisible by 4 yung last two digits, edi hindi rin this siya. Yung original number, hindi siya divisible by 4. Vice versa. Okay, so number 5 tayo. A number is divisible by 5 if the last digit ends in 0 or 5. So, madali lang to. Kapag nag-end sa 0 and 5, divisible by 5 siya. So, yung ating example is 115. Yeah, 115 ends in 5, so is it is divisible by 5. 10 million. 10 million ends in 0, so it is divisible by 5. Pero kapag tulad ng isa pang example natin, 123, it is not divisible by 5. Okay, so ends in 0 and 5, divisible siya by 5. Dito na tayo sa number 6. A number is divisible by 6 if the number is both divisible by 2 and 3. So kanina, di ba napansin nyo, dun sa number uh, divisibility rule sa number 2, dapat even number. So dapat no, even number siya and then sabi dun, divisible both, both divisible by 2 and 3. Eh, yung 3 kanina, yung rules, di ba? Yeah, add mo yung digits. Tapos pag yung sum nun is divisible by 3. So, divisible siya by 3. Yung na original number. Okay. So, dapat dalawa yung criteria na matcha-check. Yung divisible by 2 and 3. Para masabi natin na divisible siya by 6. Okay. Halimbawa, sa ating example, 2,532 ends in even number. So, divisible siya by 2. How about 3? I-add nga natin, 2,532, 2 plus 5 plus 3 plus 2. The sum is 12. At ito ay divisible by 3. So therefore, 2,532 is divisible by 6. Bakit? Kasi divisible siya by 2, check, and divisible siya by 3. So therefore, divisible by 6 ang 2,532. So dalawa yung criteria na dapat mapunan o ma-check dun sa divisibility rule ni number 6. So, dito tayo sa number 7. A number is divisible by 7 if the last digit times 2 is subtracted from the remaining digits of the original number. If the result is divisible by 7, then the original number is divisible by 7. So, sa ating example dito guys, 798 is divisible by 7. Bakit? Bakit natin na-conclude? Kasi tinan nyo guys yung ating last digit. Ano yung last digit dyan? ba number 8? So yung number 8, pag minultiply mo sa 2, 16. Tapos yung 16 na yun, napansin yun, may natira dun sa 798 na 79. Kasi kinuha natin yung last digit. Ang natira, 79. So subtract natin, 79 minus 16, is equivalent to 63 and 63 is divisible by 7 therefore the original number 798 is divisible by 7 nakuha ba so unahin natin kunin yung last digit sa divisibility na rule number 7 to ha yung last digit kukunin natin tas ito double natin times 2 so 8 times 2 16 tas yung 16 ima minus mo siya dun sa Remaining digits, 79 yung, yung hindi nakuha kanina. Okay, so yung 79 may 16, mga minus mo sila, so subtract mo, 63. Tapos yung kung yung result ay divisible by 7, ang original number mo, divisible din siya by 7. Okay, so parang tricky lang siya sa una, pero when you get used to it, ayan, madali na para sa inyo. Okay, so maliwanag na. Dito tayo sa number 8. A number is divisible by 8 if the last 3 digits is divisible by 8. So titinan dito sa number 8 na to, divisibility rule ni number 8, kung yung last 3 digits ay divisible by 8. So yung, whole number, yung original number is divisible by 8 kung yung last 3 digits ay divisible by 8. So, yung ating example dito, guys. Example, 1,240. So, ang kukunin natin is yung last three digits. Ano yun? Yun yung 240. Is 240 divisible by 8? 
Yes, therefore, 1,240 is also divisible by 8, yung original number. Okay, dako tayo sa number 9. A number is divisible by 9 if and only if the sum of its digits is divisible by 9. So parang hawig sila doon sa rule ni number 3. Kasi ina-add mo yung digits, tapos pag divisible siya doon sa number na yun, yung original number, ganun din. Divisible siya by 3 or 9. So sa ating example, 729. So pag i-add natin ang digits ng 729, 7 plus 2, 9. 9 plus 9, 18. At alam natin ang 18 is divisible by 9. Therefore, 729 is divisible by 9. Nakuha ba? So, i-add lang. I-add lang yung digits and then kung, kung yung sum na yun ay uh, divisible by 9, therefore, the original number is divisible by 9. Okay, so number 10 tayo. A number is divisible by 10 if and only if the last digit is 0. Napakadali nito guys. <laughs> Kasi 0 ends in 0. So 10, 100, 1000, 10,000 are all divisible by 10. 20, 40 divisible by 10. But 111 or 101, 102 is not divisible by 10. Basta ends in 0, divisible by 10. Okay, so maraming salamat sa panunod ng video na ito. Kung nagustuhan mo, please like and share to your friends and classmates. At bakong bago ka pa lang sa ating YouTube channel, Learn Math Page, please subscribe to our YouTube channel because in our channel, you will find and learn a simple and clear explanation to math lessons and ideas. And also, easy to follow step-by-step solution to math problems. Kaya kung may gusto kong i-request na topic or medyo nahirapan kang math problems, pwede mong i-comment sa comment section. Kaya laging tandaan ang ating outro message. Every problem, there is and there is always has a solution. So, love nuts, keep smiling, and keep learning. Bye! Kung may tanong ka about divisibility rules, pwede mong i-comment down. Salamat! Bye-bye!